So this video is going to go over a very serious topic that may disturb certain viewers. So if you are lighthearted and you can't really take serious topics that, you know, are kind of shocking, um, I would recommend clicking off this video now because this is not a trolling video. This is something serious. So just wanted to give a quick warning before we get started. Anyways, let's get on with it. Hey guys, before we get started with this video, I would just like to say if you're enjoying my content, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and give that notification bell a big ol' smack for me. It helps the channel out a lot. But anyway, hope you guys enjoy the video. Hello everybody, and welcome back to another video. Now, today isn't normally an uploading day for me because uh, my current schedule is I upload every three days, and I think it's only been two, so I shouldn't even be uploading today. However, I didn't want to use this as my actual upload on my actual uploading day because then, you know, you would have to wait longer for, you know, another actual video, a trolling video, which is what most of you are here for. So I figured, you know, just make this a separate thing so that you guys can still get your trolling video on schedule. So the trolling video will come out tomorrow, all right? Um, so look forward to that. Anyway, so today's video is much more serious. Uh, so if you're looking for a laugh, this is not the video for you. But anyway, with all that aside, what is, what's going on, Barney? This is super rare for you to make a serious video on this channel. This has happened maybe only a handful of times. Um, well, most of you should be well aware of the situation revolving the former Roblox developer known as Dr. Rofatnik. Now, for those who are unaware of who he is, he was a developer of a big Sonic the Hedgehog fan game, uh, and he is also the subject of a lot of controversy due to his inappropriate behavior. Now, Dr. Ofatnik, or Doc as he is commonly called, uh, was exposed for this inappropriate behavior quite a few times. Uh, most notably by the YouTuber known as Ruben Sim, and also by a group called People Make Games. Now, dis of course, despite all the evidence that was brought against him, Roblox did little to nothing about it. They banned, like, one of his accounts, but he was able to just transfer ownership of his group onto a different account, so he was still still able to make money. So, you know, but we're not here to talk about Roblox's failure in this situation, because that's a whole other topic we could talk about, is how Roblox could have many times stopped this from happening. Now, this uh, situation originally happened, I believe, in the end of the year last year, or the very beginning of this year, this year, this year, this year, weird wording there, um, but I forget exactly when, but I know it was quite a while ago, but it recently got an update by Ruben Sim on his Twitter account, and this is, of course, blown up. It's like the talk of the Roblox Twitter community and just Roblox in general right now, um, but anyway, so apparently, earlier this year, Doc was arrested. Yeah, he was arrested by the FBI. So essentially what happened, according to Ruben Sim, uh, is Doc got in contact with a 15-year-old girl, I'm assuming via Discord, uh, because that's where most of his victims got in contact with him, was through Discord. Um, so he, a 22-year-old man, contacted this 15-year-old girl and showered her with compliments and praise, gifts, uh, basically was trying to make a romantic relationship with her. He groomed her and he convinced her to travel from Indiana to New Jersey to his house. Uh, so he managed to separate her from family and spent a thousand dollars on Uber to transport her from Indiana to New Jersey. When she arrived, she was held at his house for eight days before the FBI was able to locate her and rescue her and take Doc into custody. Uh, where now he is, if I remember correctly, I believe he is facing 20 years to life in prison and is now has hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of fines to pay. Uh, yeah, so nothing to sneeze at here, this whole situation. Uh, now... Doc is also known for getting into big arguments with people on his Twitter account, and that's something he's been doing for a long time. Uh, I took some screenshots from his Twitter account because at the time of me recording this, his Twitter account is not deactivated, it's still up. 
Uh, I don't know if Twitter is going to en end up taking action on his account because, you know, this situation is pretty big. So honestly, wouldn't surprise me if Twitter in the future does deactivate his account or maybe they won't because, you know, Twitter is Twitter. They don't care. <laughs> so I don't know. Uh, we'll see what happens on that. But anyway, I was able to get some screenshots from his account and I'm going to show you some of the very, very egotistical and arrogant tweets that he tweeted. Now, there's a reason why I'm showing you this, and I'll get onto that after I show you. But anyway, let me just show you real quick. Now, this is the screenshot that I think everybody has seen because this was the one that was shown in Ruben Sims videos and in People Makes Game videos. I believe People Makes Games did this one. But anyway, um, so it's basically where he's rubbing it in the faces of people that he made $15,000 from his game on Roblox. And he's basically just shoving it in everybody's face. And he basically showed this to someone I believe he was in an argument with. Uh, and this was after he was originally exposed for being a predator. So, yeah. So he's basically saying, oh, well, I'm still making money. Ha ha ha. You know? So, <laughs> pretty much as egotistical as it gets right there. And it's pretty funny looking at this now. Because, you know, he was like, oh yeah, look how rich I am. Ha ha ha. Well, guess what, man? You're probably going to lose all of it now because of the fines you have to pay. I mean, the dude was literally able to just pay $1,000 straight up to Uber to uh, transport this girl to his house. That shows, like, how much money he probably had because he was willing to just throw $1,000 just to transport this girl to his house. Um, but yeah, you're probably not going to have much of it, if not any of it, left if you ever walk free again, my dude. So, uh, yeah, how, how sweet does that payday taste now? And this is him saying, I should not be up late at night arguing with mentally handicapped people. Sorry for wasting your time. So, very toxic, very arrogant and egotistical of him to say something like that. When he was in an argument with somebody, he says, oh, maybe not to little minds like yourself. Which, that wasn't really proper English, because you would probably say maybe not to little minds like yours. That would be the proper way to say it. You know, like, maybe get your English fixed a little bit there, bud. But, I don't know. It's just toxic. So yeah, just general overall toxicity, just a toxic personality. Um, now, why am I showing you this? What's, what's the point here? Well, because he reminds me of somebody. Now, I'm about to talk about something that I went over in my video called Decade in the Making. Now, that's a video that I posted earlier this month, uh, which goes over the story of my YouTube career, where my career, career came from, uh, the stories of the things I went through as a YouTuber and what led me into being the person I am today. Now, there's a person who I met and talked about in that video that I'm going to make reference to. Now, if you have not seen Decade in the Making in its entirety, I would highly recommend you go ahead and do that first before you continue with this video. Now, yeah, it's a very long video, but you kind of need to know the situation in order to understand. So it's my channel trailer right now, and I'll also leave a link to it in the description below so you can check it out there as well. But anyway, if you have seen Decade in the Making, welcome aboard. Let's go ahead and get started. So who does he remind me of? Well, he reminds me a little bit of Jake. Yes. Now, I'm not saying that Jake, 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 wow, that was a weird way of saying his name. I'm not saying that Jake was a predator. I have no proof of that. Um, but he reminds me of Jake and his followers because they are notoriously toxic. They were notoriously arrogant and egotistical. Now, another thing is at the ending of Decade in the Making, I went over how Jake became so high on his own power and influence that he ended up pulling a prank on the United States government and got himself arrested and also has a lot of money to pay. Probably not nearly as much as Doc has, but still a sizable amount of money that he owes to the government now as a result of his behavior. Um, now, we have two people who were incredibly egotistical and proud of themselves, and two people who ended up, because of that pride, doing something extremely stupid and illegal and got themselves arrested and pretty much into financial ruin as a result of it. Uh, now, why am I comparing Doc to Jake here? I mean, obviously what Doc did is way worse, way worse, and he has much worse consequences to pay. But 
again, there are some parallels here because they both were extremely proud of themselves. And honestly, I even said this in Decade in the Making too. Um, both of them probably, when they did these stupid things, probably never once in their minds did they even consider the idea that they could get into some serious trouble as a result of their behavior until the authorities confronted them at their homes. That was probably the first time either one of them ever even thought of the idea that, you know, maybe this wasn't such a great thing to do after all. Now, in Decade in the Making, I basically gave a warning to everybody that was watching that you cannot allow yourselves to become consumed by basically yourselves. You can't become consumed by what you have, what you are proud of, especially what you're proud of. You can't become consumed because I honestly believe that pride is the ultimate enemy to the human heart because when it becomes too big, it becomes like a poison. It becomes like a poison because Again, like I said, Doc and Jake probably never even considered the idea that what they were doing could get them in trouble because they probably thought that, oh, I'll just get my way around it. I can do this and get away with it. I have a plan. I know what I'm doing. Nothing's going to happen to me. But that's not what happened, is it? Both of them ended up getting arrested and are facing financial ruin. And uh, yeah. Neither one of them are probably ever going to be able to uh, live life the same again after what they have done. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, if you're a prideful person and arrogant and whatever, that you're going to end up becoming like these two who ended up becoming criminals. What I'm saying is, is that just in general, you could end up doing something that's extremely stupid because when you are consumed by pride, you don't think straight. You don't think clearly because... People who have a clear head are not going to, A, pull a prank on any kind of government, and B, try to freaking do what Doc did. I don't even want to say it again, what Doc did. I should only have to say it once. I don't want to say it multiple times. Um, but yeah, people who have clear heads are not going to do things like that. But people who think they're invincible and are beyond facing consequences because they're so great, yeah, they're going to think, oh, hey, you know, I'm going to go ahead and do this, and... I won't worry about it because nothing's going to happen to me. So again, I'm not saying you're going to turn into a monster, but what I'm saying is is that you could end up getting in yourself in trouble in general, whether that be in a minor sense or a major sense. So you got to learn to humble yourselves down and realize that, yeah, there are consequences for everything you do. Everything you do. Sometimes those consequences can be positive, right? Sometimes you can end up doing something really good and people will respect you for it. That's a good consequence. Or you could do something bad and you have to pay negative consequences for it. So never, ever, ever allow yourself to believe that you are untouchable or that you're beyond facing consequences. And if you're in a position of power like Jake and Doc were, or if you have a significant influence, you especially need to be careful about letting that power and influence get to your head. You need to make extra care to make sure that you, you know, realize that, hey, you know, I may have a lot of money, I may have a lot of influence and a lot of power here, but I can't use it to my advantage against other people. I can't do that. Because at the end of the day, sure, I may have this power, but I'm still an average everyday Joe, just like everyone else. I'm still human. I still can screw up and make dumb mistakes, and I need to learn from them. And I can't view myself as greater than anybody else just because I may have something that others may not. You know? You need to stay humble. That message especially goes out to developers, admins, uh, people, like I said, that are in positions of power, influence, or wealth. Th that's really who the, the message is especially for. But even if you don't have any of those things, that goes out to you too because you never know what could end up happening in the future, man. Like, you could become proud of something completely different. And it's not, it's not bad to be, you know, confident in yourself. That's not what I'm saying. But when it turns into ego, that's, that's the problem. That's when it becomes a problem. So basically this message is just a warning to everybody that, you know, don't become prideful, arrogant, all those things. Don't let that happen to you because you have control over yourself, man. I can't, I can tell you 
what I think you should do, but only you have control over yourself, all right? So if you end up choosing to live that way, you know, where like Jake and Doc were, then hey, go ahead, man, but you're just going to have to face the consequences in the future. But if you take my warning and start changing the way you think and start changing the way you treat other people then I can guarantee you, you're going to be much better off, man. And even even if you do follow my message, I'm not saying you're not ever going to make a mistake. You're still going to do that. You're, you're human. It's going to happen. It's happened before, I'm sure. And it's going to happen again, no matter what you do. But you just have to try to minimize it as much as possible. Anyway, guys, that's really all I wanted to say is just don't become like them, you know? Like I said, you're not going to become a monster just because you're prideful. I'm just saying it can lead into that is what I'm essentially trying to say. Anyways... That's all I really have for today's video. Like I said, uh, a trolling video will be coming out tomorrow, so this isn't taking up the trolling video slot. I just wanted to get this video out there because I felt like it was an important message. Uh, and one thing I thought I would also mention as well is that Ruben Sim has said that he's going to make a video on his channel going over the whole doc situation in much more detail. So when that comes out, I would highly recommend you watch it because, I mean, Ruben Sim, I mean, if you've seen his lawsuit video... This guy works really hard on making videos like this, and he doesn't uh, he doesn't get lazy on making these kind of videos. So definitely am looking forward to seeing this video because, uh, man, he, he gets the job done. He gets the job done. Uh, anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And like I said, trolling video coming out tomorrow. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!